I do have aches and pains. I'm older and I have a heart condition. And we know that we won't have like as much time as somebody else might have together. But yeah, that's a little bit of an understatement, broski. Just one session of trying to do the diddly and this man will have a heart attack and keel over. No, but actually, can you imagine, bro, like being a chick, you know, with an older dude as like a boyfriend or husband? He's hitting it from the back. Next thing you know, you just hear Ugh! and homeboy just flops over dead while still inside, dude. Oh, my God. Getting sick of constant negativity, searching for some clarity. Try to switch my mind around, reversing the polarity and Anyways, how's it going, broskies? It's your boy Lofi here. Before we get started today, if you guys could drop a fat like on this video and subscribe if you're new, I would really appreciate that. Also, there's this uh, little bell notification thing next to the subscribe button now. Uh, apparently, if you don't click that, then you won't ever see new videos. YouTube, YouTube is great. But yeah, have you guys ever, you know, been shopping at Costco with your mom, you know, try trying to get all the free samples, and then you try and grab a free sample of some chicken nuggets at the same time as some older lady, and you touch hands for a second, and you see your future flash before your eyes you her just chilling holding hands at the retirement home bro and then you finally get married and on your wedding night it's time it's time to finally clap the cheeks because we wait till marriage over here okay it says so in the bibble and then you go to clap the cheeks and then she just kills over dead because of a heart attack bro and then uh you get all of her money fat doves city boys dude we up but yeah if that scenario got your jimmy neutron brain blast then then you'll really love today's video we're gonna be looking at this like 70 year old grandpa and his like 30 year old wife like this dude is old enough to literally be her real grandpa probably so sit back relax grab your bucket of old people candy and let's get right into this i would have never considered a guy much older than me before this happened that was completely unexpected yeah you don't just unexpectedly fall in love this isn't a disney movie you kind of actually have to like go on dates get asked out you know th there's a process there this dude's got to be rich or something like i'm glad they're happy whatever okay love is love but the average life expectancy of a man in america is like 72 years old this man has got like two years max before he croaks out like all i can really see in their future is a bunch of viagra pills and heart medication I'm not afraid of dying. I'm afraid of not living enough. Oh man, you know, I'm not gonna lie, that really touched my heartstrings. That was a really, really beautiful saying. You know, a lot of old people do say that their biggest regret in life is not having lived enough, not having taken enough risks. And you know what? They deserve to be happy. Even though he's old enough to have been with Jesus in the second grade, you know what? Love is love. I just surely hope nothing bad happens to them within the next two to four years, man. That would really suck. Bro, of course this is happening in Florida, okay? Now everything makes sense. Seriously though, how come all the weirdest shit always happens in Florida? I cannot tell you how many Florida man memes I've seen in my lifetime and then actually looked it up and it turns out it wasn't a meme. It was literally just a headline from a Florida news article. And why does this say venomous reptiles inside? Like this man already is like running on borrowed time. He's gonna risk it even further by having a king cobra in his house? But there's cobras in all the boxes. Lucy's sweet. Yeah. And if you understand the behavior of the snake, it's not as dangerous as it seems, really. Watch this. Okay, I was joking about the cobras earlier, but this man is actually serious. There really is cobras in all of those boxes. No, I will say, yeah, snakes do get a bad rep, all right? For the most part, they can fill your energy. If you vibing with them, they're vibing with you. But there is no way on God's green earth where I'm just gonna have king cobras and, like, extremely venomous snakes that could kill me with one look just chilling in my crib, yo. I get that this man is old and probably already on his deathbed with a shit ton of heart conditions, but I don't know why he would risk it for the biscuit even further, but having these animals in his house. Honestly, this is probably why that lady married him. She saw that he was old, had a bunch of dangerous animals in his crib, and was like, you know what? This is a really good combination. I could easily get that retirement money ASAP. Just one misplaced snake, and I got a fat paycheck. Look like magic, didn't it? Yeah, that's not black magic. You almost got bit by a deadly snake and died, bro. And homegirl over there didn't even flinch. She was like, come on, please do it this time. Please do it. I want that 401k. I mean, hey, I get it. I understand. Slobbing on that wrinkly knob every night must be pretty traumatizing. But hey, if you want to mess around with a danger noodle and get caught lacking, that's on you, bro. And it makes it look like I used a force field to make it go back in the box, but I did. My name is Tom Crutchfield. I am 70 years old, and I am a retired 
professional herpetologist. Yo, this guy is almost old enough to be president, man. If he sticks around for a couple more years, I might vote for him. Nah, but seriously, though, why would anybody in their right mind, like even somebody whose whole job before they retired was, you know, messing around with animals or whatever, keep the most dangerous ones as they're getting old? You see, this is why women live longer than men, because men, we make dumbass decisions. Or maybe that's just him, because I've worked around animals, snakes included, and there's no way in hell that I'd be like 70, 80 years old messing around with king cobras in my last days. I'd personally rather be sitting on a beach sipping pina coladas with a joint in my hand, bro, not doing this. And get the, the shed skin out too if you can. Dude, this is so me holding my ginormous cock. No, but seriously, though, like, man's just sitting there chilling with a big-ass snake in his arms like he's holding a goddamn puppy. Like, I get it. All the creatures of Earth deserve love, you know, ex except for hornets, you know, fuck those guys. But some of the animals on this planet you should exactly be cuddling and snuggling up with, dude. And venomous snakes of the big-ass variety are one of them. It's like this guy is asking to get his dick bit off. I'm Stacy Crutchfield. I am almost 38 years old. Stacy and I have been together, like, almost four years, going on four Years. So if I'm doing math right, and I'm probably not, this man was 67 when she was like 34, 33. Like, homie is literally double her age, bro. Whenever she was born, this man was almost 40. This dude was thinking about buying a second house before she could even speak her first words. I think she's the most beautiful woman I've flirted with, but I have flirted with many beautiful women, and I have had many beautiful women over my life. It happens that I choose Stacy. Bro, homeboy really just said, yeah, I was for the streets for a couple years. You know, I had a lot of pretty hoes, but like this one, the best hoe though. Like old man gives no f He's just like, hey, I'm dying in about five minutes. I'm gonna say what I want to say. And honestly, mad respect, dog, go for it. This farm when we originally bought it was a uh, cockfighting farm. It was owned by a Cuban cockfighter who had a job too. And Wait, hold up, hold up, hold up. There's so much to unpack here. They bought an illegal cockfighting farm from a cartel member? Bro, what was old man getting up to in his younger years? How did he just happen to find a farm that was owned by the cartel that was used for cockfighting? Like, I'm pretty sure you just can't find something like that on Zillow.com, bro. That's a special order. We do breed three really rare species of snake neck turtles in here, too. That uh, we do a lot of those for conservation. You know, I'm not gonna lie, it's pretty cool that homie's out here playing Dr. Doolittle in his older years, but maybe he should leave the snakes alone, stick to the turtles. I hear that bird watching is a very common thing amongst old retired people. Maybe he should give that a try. I'm an analog man in the digital world, so I do have a digital girl. She does a lot of the computer stuff because I simply don't know how to do it. Yo, straight bars from old man over here, okay? He may be old, he may not know how to send an email or attach a PDF file, but man, homie's got bars to rival Eminem. No, but seriously though, like, did this man really just marry this chick so that he can have somebody figure out all the computer work? He couldn't just hire a personal assistant? Because clearly homeboy's got money because he bought a farm with a bunch of venomous snakes. Snakes that you need permits for that you gotta pay for. I'm sure homie could have paid an assistant to figure out how to work an email account. But hey, why pay for something you can get for free with a marriage certificate and a prenup. And then here's part of our breeding facility also on this side of the yard. Breeding facility? Hey, yo, old man putting in that work? I'm talking about with the animals, you dirty-minded fuck. You were born 1949, I was born 1981. That would be, uh, 32 years. <laughs> 32 years? Bro, when this chick graduated high school, he was already cashing out the 401k. Like, this dude was out here shopping for summer beach houses to retire to when she was just trying to figure out her major. This man either has top-tier level riz or unlimited pocket change. I have uh, four daughters, and the oldest is, will be 48 this year, and the youngest is 30 would be 33. Bro, can you imagine you get a call from your dad, right? And he's like, hey, you know, I'm about to get remarried, all right? I know after your mom died, things were hard. Come back home. I need to show you something. I want you to meet her. And you pull up back up to your old crib and you see this, like, lady who looks around to be your same age. You find out that she's younger than you and now you gotta call her mom. I'm sorry, but you know how they say at wedding speak now or forever hold your peace? I would not hold my peace. I don't think there's any way in hell that I could call someone younger than me mom or dad, even if it's it's like stepmom, dude. Like, this guy is really married to a woman who is younger than some of his daughters. Like, does that not feel just a little bit weird to him? You know, just a little? Well, I'm five years older than her dad. So, I think. Yeah. Right? Yeah. That's a, those are white ibis. Bro, that just makes it even worse. Dude, she's gonna end up going to her own husband's funeral before her father's. Now, look, I get it that homeboy wants to live it like Larry, like every day is his last day. But at this point, every day could be his last day. I'm not gonna lie, I was trying to give them both the benefit of the doubt, but it really just looks like she wants control of that farm, bro. I was a little 
upset about it, but um, once we came down and we met Tom, we knew um, he's a great guy. He, he's really nice. <laughs> <laughs> you could just look at the look on the dad's face. He's just like, I don't want to be here. Why the f are we on this TV show? Like, it's so obvious that they don't approve at all. And they're just trying to save face for TV. I can't imagine how awkward that call was. Hey, mom and dad, you know how I'm like married to the seven year old man? Can you actually show up to the farm that I'm trying to steal from them? We're doing like this TV show thing and uh, I want to interview you. Just make sure to tell them how you really feel about my situation, okay? Tom, my son in, son in law is five years older than me. And is a stranger or not? That's a little bit. Makes me feel younger. <laughs> Dude, that was the most awkward laugh I've ever heard in my entire life. <laughs> he makes me feel younger. <laughs> I'm dying inside. Like, I'm sorry. I don't think I could look an older man in the eyes as he asked for my daughter's hand in marriage. And I, I, I don't think I could do it, bro. I'd probably just punch dude in the face. Like, unless my daughter's planning on cutting me in some of that 401k money, then uh, no, dude's gotta go. But Lofi, they love each other. Would you really stand in the way of true love? Yes. Bro, that's gotta be the biggest awkward silence I've ever witnessed in my entire life. Like, there is zero energy there. Like, the vibes are really just full of testosterone pills and Viagra. Like, th there's nothing going on here except for awkwardness. You know, you would think they would have a lot in common to talk about. Dicks not working, dialysis machines, social security, yelling at retail workers when they forget to take their card out the machine. You know, something, dude. Sometimes when we're out, we do get some strange looks or people will come up. People mistake Tom for my dad quite a bit. Hmm, I wonder why that is. It's almost like that man is like 30 something years older than you. I don't know, man. I could be wrong. If only there was a decision that she could have made a couple years ago that could have prevented her from being in this situation. Now look, I don't want to sound like I'm hating. I love me some MILFs and occasionally a gilf. I can't even lie to you. But at what point do you gotta be like, hey, yo, locking this down is probably not a good decision because homeboy just gonna die after I get attached. That's quite literally the definition of setting yourself up for failure. Like, unless you didn't sign a prenup in a about to get a fat check this does not seem worth it right daddy <laughs> <laughs> Oh, dude, no, no, nah, 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 bro. Say, save that for the bedroom. Like, I feel like this joke would have been funny if this man wasn't actually old enough to be her father. Like, he's actually older than her real father. They could for real just be doing the diddly in the bedroom and this man could deadass just say, I am your father on some Star Wars shit. Having breakfast and some lady came up and was trying to hit on Tom and asking, um, oh, your granddaughter's so beautiful, blah, 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 and we just look like... I mean, can you really blame her? You're not the only one trying to get into Tom's fat pockets. Cause you know, Tom, you know, Tom looking kind of sexy. Shoot. Hey, hey, Tom, you into guys? Seriously though, all jokes aside, how was homeboy supposed to know that you weren't his granddaughter, dude? Like you actually look closer to my age than 40. So big ups on you for that. But after years of being together, you're still surprised. Like just stop, accept reality. If you think that this is bad, just wait till you actually have to put him in a nursing home. It's gonna get 10 times worse. Well, I met Tom before they announced they were dating. and He was a very friendly guy, I liked him. I was okay with it. Yeah, get the bag, sis. Wait for that old man to die. That's the energy that she's giving off. I'm not even going to lie. That, that's the vibes that I'm feeling. Because in all actuality, nobody gets with someone significantly older than them unless they just don't want to do the work to, like, you know, be financially stable. They kind of just want to weasel their way in. Even dudes that go for older women, like, you know, the MILF hunters, they do it for the exact same reason, too. I feel like we don't call that out enough. It is possible for niggas to be gold diggers. I literally saw a whole TikTok about a guy talking about how he goes on Facebook Marketplace and looks up people selling wedding dresses and engagement rings and stuff and how he filters them out to find the perfect MILF dude. It's actually insane how crazy these guys are. I'm not gonna lie. It's smart as fuck though, man. <laughs> I've just learned not to care what other people think. I'm not gonna let it ruin living my life and being happy. You know what? This may be a really weird Florida man situation, but I do gotta say, that is a very positive message. I support that. At the end of the day, broskies do what makes you happy, whether that's playing guitar, making YouTube videos, uh, playing with snakes, I don't know, shoving worms up your ass, whatever you feel like. Okay, maybe not that last bit, okay? Maybe stick to something normal, okay? I, I feel like you understand my point, though. I've been in the medical field for 10 years and took care of a lot of patients that were draped on ventilators that were full care and, you know, I would do it for you.
Man, I for you too, baby. Yeah, homie, sorry to burst your bubble, but I don't think that you'll be around for that long. Like, unless she gets into some crazy accident that leaves her like a quadriplegic vegetable, you're not gonna be the one taking care of her on a ventilator. Either way, uh, moral of this story is uh, marry a MILF so you never actually have to work a real job and you could just eat all of her kids' snacks. No joke no scam. Seriously though, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, smash a fat like on it, and if you're new, subscribe. I would really appreciate that. Also, if you want to go over and follow the Twitch and the Twitter, links are in the description. That would also be pretty cool too. I'd be tweeting and streaming sometimes. Also, it really seems like you guys are messing with the older style videos. Again, it's honestly really cool to be back to just, I don't know, having fun with YouTube videos instead of talking about the next Aiden Ross drama all the time. But yeah, if you guys want to see more of these or just me reacting and, you know, making some jokes about some funny videos, uh, drop something in the comments, give suggestions, in the Discord server. I'm always looking for more cringe content to consume. Anyways, I've been yapping too long. I really hope you guys are all having a fantastic day. I've been Lofi. Peace out, broskies.